Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up your gradebook for weighted grades. To set up your gradebook, click on the grades icon at the top of your Moodle course page. Now we've landed in the grader report by default, so go ahead and click on the drop down menu and select gradebook setup. This is an example of a weighted gradebook. You can see I've got categories here. Moodle likes to call these folders gradebook categories. And each category has a different category of activities in it. For example, I've got assignments, quizzes, forums, research paper, and exams in my Moodle gradebook. To create a category in your Moodle gradebook, you can click Add Category. You'll want to add this category for each part of your syllabus that has a collection of weighted grade items in it. If something is a standalone item that has its own weight, it does not need to live in a category. So let's set up a new category. I'm going to click Add Category. I'm going to call this category Extra Credit and then click Save Changes. Now, as you can see, at the bottom of my gradebook setup, there's now a category called extra credit. Now, as you can see, it's currently not worth anything and there's nothing in it. If there's something arbitrary I want to add for my students' extra credit, I can add a graded item. I will do this by scrolling up to the top of my gradebook setup and then click add grade item. So here I am in the new grade item section and you don't need to make a grade item for activities in Moodle because when you assign a grade to a Moodle activity that activity automatically gets a column in the grade book depending on how much it's worth in your settings. If there's something that they don't turn in on Moodle you can add a grade item and you can name this item anything you want. So I will simply name this graded item Classroom Attitude. Now we can see at the very bottom, we have my Classroom Attitude grade item. So to move the Classroom Attitude graded item into the extra credit, I simply click this checkbox, scroll down to the Move Selected Items 2, and select Extra Credit, and then click Leave. Now you can see my graded item has been added to the appropriate category. To make this category extra credit, I can simply click Edit, Edit Settings, Parent Category, and then select Extra Credit. So now that I've clicked the extra credit, I can click Save Changes, and I will make this extra credit graded item an extra 2%. And the plus down here also indicates that the extra credit has been enabled for this category. So as you can see, making graded items is very easy. And once again, you don't need to make a grade item if you already have points associated with it in a Moodle activity. For example, in my assignments category, you can see I have this self-reflection journal assignment. So this is an assignment worth 10 points, and it's important to note that everything in this category is worth 20% of my students' overall grade. So whenever you make a category, you want to assign the weight to it, and all the weights need to add up to 100. So we have 20, 35, 45, 65, and 100. As a point of clarity to your students, it's also advisable to make sure that the title of your category has the weight in it. As you can see, currently my research paper category does not have the weight in the title. Let's go ahead and change that. So to do this, I click Edit, Edit Settings, Leave, And in the category name, I will add 20%.
Now we can see that the research paper category has the weight in the category title as well. So now students can visually see that everything in this folder or this gradebook category is worth 20% of the final grade. And I do that throughout the whole gradebook. When you set up your gradebook in categories, you can also do some cool things like drop the lowest values for quizzes. To drop the lowest value in a category on Moodle, you will click the edit button for the associated category, click on edit settings, click on show more, and usually this will have a zero here for drop the lowest, but since I want to drop the lowest quiz grade, I currently have one here. If I wanted to drop two quiz scores, I could add a two here instead, and then the two lowest quiz scores would be dropped from this category. Moodle is very smart about this. It will drop the lowest value for each of the students, and I can simply continue adding quizzes to that folder. Now you might have items in your gradebook that need to be moved around or put in categories. To do that, you can use the checkboxes on the right. So here is a research paper that I currently have in my assignments category, and I need to move it into my research paper category. To do this, I simply click the select button on the right, the checkbox, then I scroll down and select move selected items to research paper, and then click leave. So now we can see in the research paper category that research paper assignment has been moved and we are good to go. If you have activities in Moodle that do not contribute to the final course grade, you could also set up an ungraded category as long as any activities or graded items are added to this ungraded category, which is weighted at 0%, then this will not affect the final grade at all. Now regarding the extra credit category, I could change this to 2%. Now this means there will be a 2% amount of extra credit students could receive in the course. So I'll go ahead and click Save Changes. So now all of these weights will add up to 100, and 2% is the extra credit. It doesn't count towards the overall weight. Also, I can continue to add items to this extra credit if I want to do things in addition to my Attitude in Class grade column. Need more help? For technical support, contact the eList support team by clicking the Get Help button at the top of any Moodle page. For ELIS instructional design services like lessons or course building, email idteam at oakland.edu.